so welcome to data pandit so today we are going to talk about nested vectors in abinitio so in earlier videos we talked about vectors and their functions in couple of videos now for example if we have complex vectors so how to probably normalize those vectors how to construct or how to initialize uh, you know multi level vectors like nested vectors what you say right so what is nested vectors so it's a kind of uh, multi dimension error in other programming language right so similarly we will have uh, multi dimensional vectors actually so as we know that uh, there are types of any every element of vector would be same that is the requirement right for a vector in case of vector so we can create uh, you know uh, uh, vectors matrix of vectors actually matrix in the if we come uh, you know, from the mathematical uh, background right so if there will be have a matrices so we can always compare this vectors multi dimensional vector with the mat matrix right so for example uh, we will have a, a vectors of uh, you know one byte string right so string 1 6 uh, 3 so there are this is a 2d vectors which have a, a scalar element of string type which is uh, a right so this is the element okay so first uh, dimension is like we will have a six element in the vector and then all those six would be repeated thrice right so this is a all together there will be 18 elements okay so in one dimension there will be a three more vectors and within that each three vectors there will be a six element of um, one byte string okay so this is how i represented over here if we want to declare uh, let's say if you want to say there is another third dimension so what i need to do is i need to uh, have a again one more vector let's say this one which will have a two elements right so this will uh, come inside that all right and this will be closing over here comma and similar it will be repeated this is going to be repeated i need to remove this so maybe if you want to talk about uh, it's a single uh, this one right so maybe if it is two byte string let's say then i can increase it by 1b 1c like that 1d 1e 1f or we can have a same uh, element also there is no problem but just to differentiate it i'm just appending it as a uh, i mean i'm prefixing with one okay and i have made the sing uh, the element as a two byte string okay so i could do that now so this is called three dimension vector i have increased one dimension so there are two vectors uh, okay there are two elements in the vectors then again there will be a three elements within single element and then there will be a six element in the uh, in the uh, level 3 right so this is level 3 then this is the level 2 level 3 level 2 and level 1 so this is how we, we can represent it so all the elements can be represented in uh, sing uh, uh, you know one dimension also because every element is a same type so right so we can represent it as a in a single dimension also so one other type of nested vector could be like this type of vectors so that is a uh, if we have a elements of record type right so there are many cases where we uh, you know uh, where we <clears throat> read the xml 
data or a JSON data, right? Those kind of uh, hierarchical data sets, if you uh, try to read. So in those cases, we will have a vectors of records. There could be a, uh, you know, multiple level of depth up for a, or multiple level of dimension, I could say. And also there would be a vector element would be a vector type uh, record type, right? So if we talk about here, so this is the record. I can uh, I can mention this as in a particular part of a particular component. Okay, so this is the uh, level two is the vector of three elements. Again, within a uh, level two, there are level one, okay, which has a again vector of six element, and each element is string one type. Okay, this is also a 2D vector. Okay, if I want to make it as a 3D, so what I could do is like, uh, let's say one more level, then I could do is like now, uh, and then let's say I want to have a two, so level. I could do that like that. So if I want to do, so let me make it very readable. So this is first of first level, first level it is ending here. So this is the level one. Then this is level to have three elements and then this is the level one having two elements and then it is encapsulated by record so this we can declare or we can mention in a metadata of a particular port we can mention in the port right depending upon our requirement so this is the nested vector okay <clears throat> So how we work with the nested vectors? Uh, let's take some example and try to understand how to uh, how to uh, construct the nested vector. So if I talk about this one, uh, I could say it is in a fixed length, right? Fixed length. It is nested vector. Mostly we work with the like kind of fixed length. All right. So let's talk about how normalization work in the case of uh, nested vectors. So we will be having two uh, videos. First, we will talk about this kind of vectors, right? Fixed length, this kind of vector and how normalization work in this the, this scenario. And secondly, we, we are going to talk, talk about little complex um, nested vectors and then how normalization happens there. Okay. So let's hook up to the first case, right? So let's say we have uh, this uh, multi-level uh, vector. Okay. So, and this can be represented by uh, this one string two six three two, so, uh, as I mentioned over here, right? Uh, this one six three two. So here uh, I had uh, element 632, right? So here 632, simple. Similarly, uh, this is the string 2, right? So similar I can represent over here, right? So let's say I want to construct it using the reformat. So how we can construct it like out dot nested vector, then vector, again vector and vector. So similarly, I have declared over here. So similarly, we can declare. So I, I have taken this example. Okay. So how to normalize it? So we can have a multiple level of normalization. In a single level, we cannot normalize it. So either we can take no, no, uh, three level of normalization. If it is a three dimension vector. So if we do first level, right? Normalize level, we can pass this data while reading in this uh, record format. We can pass in normalize level one in the sense of normalize first normalize okay first normalize component so what we can do is uh, we can uh, read in the normalize input port and then in the length function we can have a length of 
so if we do the length of in dot nested vector for this kind of vector it will give the two because the level 3 is two uh, having two elements so it simply will give the two okay so after doing after passing through this normalize uh, uh, function what assignment we are going to do is out dot nested level 1 is equal to in dot nested vec index so if we do this the output what i can collect from the normalize component is 2d vector you know 632 it was earlier 632 right now i omit the 2 because uh, my two element came in the length function and then i will have two element after this normalize component after passing through so the remaining uh, ele each element will be of 63 type right 2d vector so my uh, output port of this normalize first normalization component will be 2d vector 6 okay then i can pass again from the another normalized component so this time what i will do is i will take the length of nested vector level 1 because my nested level vector 1 is 2d dimension so this will give me three element so three number three in the length function return type okay so if we normalize it so there will be a three element again okay having a singular uh, single level vector uh, vector okay single d dimension vector okay so if you assign like nested vector level 2 because nested vector level 2 is my single dimension vector okay and i will have a six element okay i will have three uh, element okay length function will return three then again i will pass this uh, to another normalized okay level 3 so this time i will uh, have each element you know so we started with uh, this one right a 0 a 0 b 0 c so finally when i will pass through all three normalized component with all these output ports and these normalized uh, uh, code what i will have is at last uh, you know i will have each element right 0 a uh, sorry 0 a then 0 b then 0 c and so on okay up till the last element so how many element elements i would have one r right so last element is one r so that will be my 36th element okay one r is going to my 36th element uh, 30 sixth element because if you multiply all these elements right uh 6 3 2 3 2 6 6 6 36 so there are 36 elements here if you uh, if you count it also there are 6 in each so 6 into 3 18 18 into uh 2 is equal to 36 okay so it is an it is in a 2 uh, 2d vector having uh, 3d vector basically so there are two uh, two major vectors which have again there will be a three vectors having is having six element okay so this is how we we can normalize this is one way of normalization we will talk about second way of normalization in the next video okay thank you so much